Skill gain will be middle of the road in comparison to other free servers. We're not offering bonus skill gain in specific areas, and we are considering potentially no gain in houses and boats. We will have standard UO Renaissance mechanics with a few small changes. We will be offering factions and bolas for factions. We do plan on offering wands and fire horns for faction players in the future at some capacity. Yes, PvP tournaments are already set up. Staff will be very involved in running events and larger events will have unique items. We want to heavily focus on the PvP aspect of the game. We have added several new hues that I think the player base will enjoy of Tier 4 and Tier 5 BOD cloth and have removed Blaze. Other than that, all BOD rewards are pretty standard. Our murder penalty is tied to one of our core systems, alignment. So we'll get into that a bit first and then I'll talk about how the murder penalty works. There will be six dungeons that you will have to align with. You will be given 100 alignment points, and so you must choose wisely on which dungeons you want to align with. The first level of each dungeon does not require alignment. You must kill 10 mobs on each level in order to progress further. Alignment is account-wide, meaning it's shared between your characters. You will not be able to enter a dungeon level without appropriate alignment level, and will not be able to recall or gate into those areas. Each of these dungeons will have the champion spawn on the lowest possible level. One thing to keep in mind here is you only have 100 alignment points, so you cannot be aligned with every single dungeon and every single level. The arrow toggles represent the ability to increase or decrease that specific dungeon's alignment. Now I understand the number one question to come of this is what is the purpose slash value for this? We feel this will slow down Zergs that rush the champion spawn at the last moment, and it'll also slow down power farmers. We also want players to farm the levels they usually wouldn't. This system also allows us a unique way in order to punish PKs. Other servers offer temporary stat loss, permanent stat loss. We will use the alignment system in order to punish PKs that get killed. If a PK were to die in one of these specific dungeons, they will lose their alignment points for that dungeon. We feel this is a fair way to punish PKs and not take them out of the game completely like stat loss does. We feel part of the problem with stat loss is it takes that character out of play completely for multiple hours and sometimes days. This gives them multiple avenues in order to get back into the battlefield. They can simply go to a different dungeon or work their alignment points back. Another thing to keep in mind here is these aren't all the dungeons in the game. Other dungeons not listed here are free to anyone. To recap, there's six dungeons that you will have to align with. You have 100 alignment points to allocate to each one of these dungeons. The champion spawn is at the lowest level of each one of these dungeons, some of which will be a custom version. If you are a PK and die in one of these dungeons, you will lose all alignment points for that specific dungeon. And the number one question that we have received, when will you launch? We are excited to announce that beta will launch on July 2nd, 2021. The official launch will happen two to four weeks after open beta starts. There will be a full wipe between open beta and launch. We will be giving rewards to the top players on the leaderboards and potentially people who report serious bugs if found. Thank you for people that have submitted questions for this Q&A. We are excited to see you all on July 2nd for the open beta. Please join our Discord if you have any further questions and we'll gladly answer them.